So here we have a, a very interesting pair of speakers. So these were built in 1964. They're a horn design. So they've got um, two mid ranges in the horn here, which is a double horn. So it's quite interesting. So it's two separate horns. In the middle is a Kelly ribbon tweeter in the middle of there. Uh, if you go to the other one, I've taken the grill off. Um, we have a sort of 12, 13 inch base here. I think it's probably a Wharfdale driver. I could be wrong, could be a Goodman's. Um, but there we go there. These are tiltable. That's why you can move these around. Um, the crossover is an amazing affair down there with loads of oil filled cap capacitors. Um, I've taken that one out so you can have a look at it. But it's a, it's a, it's a proper thing, this. Um, so yeah, they were made in 64 as a one-off project. I, I don't know who the man is who made them. It was a, a deceased estate, so these are reasonably unknown. But I know from the family that these were a project to uh, play organ music through. Um, I'm using a basic Marantz amplifier with only about 30 watts per channel and just, and just a streamer, digital streamer. So there's nothing fancy on the front end, but they go incredibly loud and they're focused and they're nice. So this is what they can do. <laughs> The, uh, the <laughs> microphone, but uh, they sound very hi-fi. I mean, um, a lot of these big, big product speakers from back then don't sound great, but these really do sound great. There is some cosmetic issues here and there. I mean, they need a bit of a tart-up, um, but they are phenomenal speakers. Cheers. See you next time.